interview time. You set the scene, you've got yourself ready, now it's time for the actual interview. Now there are some things that you'll need for any video interview. Some notes that are clearly organized, some poster notes in a pen, and some water. Now an hour before you plan to record your interview, have a good drink of water. It's easier to talk if you're well hydrated, your mouth isn't dry. This minimizes the chance of getting all dry mouth and then tripping over your words. Double check your setup and your camera settings before you start, even though you might have tested it on another day. It's a good idea to take a video of yourself and watch it back, even just saying, reading the paper. Have your notes close to hand and post-it notes. Now most times a video interview will start with a warm-up question like introduce yourself. Use this to get comfortable and test out your settings. When you get your first question, use your thinking time to put two to three bullet points on a post-it note and put it up right close to your camera. That way when you answer, you don't need to look down at your notes and it still looks like you're making great eye contact. Now what happens if you freeze during the interview? This happens and the key is persistence. Take a deep breath, a look at your notes and get back on track. I really admire students who get stuck or flustered, take a moment to regroup and then keep on going. Don't give up. Now when it comes to time, you don't need to use up all of your time. If they give you two minutes for the answer, then maybe a 30 second response could be too short and you might not be answering the questions in enough depth. But don't feel like you need to talk for the entire two minutes. Better to get your points across and finish a bit early than get cut off and miss an important part of your response and then it doesn't make sense. Another thing many students are worried about is how they sound when they talk, especially when English is not your first spoken language. In today's multicultural society, we're used to hearing lots of different accents, so don't worry about yours. You need to make sure you speak clearly, not too fast, and make sure you take a pause at the end of a thought or a point. This will allow your viewer to better understand what you're saying rather than just running on and saying everything really quickly all in a row. And importantly, don't forget to breathe. So to recap, make sure you're hydrated, use your post-it notes and keep them near the camera, keep cool and speak thoughtfully. Best of luck for your video interview. If you have any other questions about video interviews, please leave them in the comments and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.